I want you to know that if you are job searching, I genuinely, I genuinely feel this, you can disagree at the moment, that you're, you're being given a gift. Because if you're breathing, every minute is a gift, and every experience is a gift. And I realize you might not think that right now, but I promise you, and I'm not afraid to make promises, that you will at some point in the future look back and know exactly why it had to happen that way. That may be today, it may be tomorrow, it may be next year or five years down the road, but it will happen if you open your eyes and stretch your ears and reflect. And so I want to show I want to show you something, and I I I want to I want to breeze through this quickly, but I I believe this has a lot of analogies to what you're going through right now, and these are my these are my booklets. I'll explain what these are in a, in a second. But each day, each morning. I write in in this thing. It's it's a it's a journal. And what this thing does for me, and I know people journal many different ways, but the first thing that I do in the morning when I get up is on the front page of the journal, it, it's okay if you can't read this. There are 10 reminders for me. I look at them. It's the first thing that I do every basically every day. It's open, it's on this page, and I I when I come to this desk. I look at this, and I'm not going to read all these to you, but they're reminders for me of what to think, how to to make sure that I'm experiencing what I'm going through at any moment in time. And, you know, my first one is be responsible for your energy, just to give you an idea. And these these are reminders. I'm being prepared. I'm learning and all those other good things. These are reminders to me every single day because we all move through life at a breakneck pace at the speed of our emotions. And it's very, very difficult for us to actually experience what we're going through at any moment in time. When you, when you are constantly reminding yourself of how to behave and what to think and have perspective. And then what I also do in this in this book is, is I, I mean, I write down everything I'm, I'm grateful for and sometimes it's repetitive. It doesn't matter. It gets me to stop and focus on all the great things. And one thing that went in this booklet today was that how awesome is it that I get to teach these people and I get to help a whole bunch of people, right? That's, that's pretty awesome. And so, so, so the first thing that I want you to, to, to realize as you're going through your work day, your search, your whatever it is, Think about you're going through an experience. Gain the benefits of that experience. Don't just go through it with the mindset of, geez, I'm a victim. Why me? Why did that happen? That's so unfair. Who knew the market was going to do this? I thought I joined a great company. I get it. There's a lot of circumstances, most of which are totally out of your control. Own the decision. Gain the benefits of the experience. Figure it out. Everything will be fine. Now, as you're going through and you're working the mechanics of your day, of your search, of your whatever, I have another booklet. This is my training journal. I uh, I do a lot of sporting events. I like to do triathlons and run and swim and bike and strength train and do other stuff. Every day, usually at least once, but usually twice a day, I go into this thing and I register what I did. And so the book, it's just the Lecterm 1917. There's nothing magical about it, but, but, but it's big enough for me to fit the eight and a half by five cards that I have to write my swimming workouts in and other things that get, that get you know, loaded into this book about what I accomplished, how I'm feeling. And the reason that I, I put the swim cards in there and I tape them in or other things that I do is because I, when I'm tired or when I'm getting close to race day, your race day, whatever that is, is I know I put the work in and it's registering when I'm doing it. And when I'm done, although that swim was hard or that run was hard or whatever it was, I know I put the work in. I know the work is being done. Three a day, three a day, three a day kind of thing, right? So, so this tells me I put the work in and I can do it. And it gives me a chance to look back and see what I've actually done. There's another element to this. For any of you guys in my leadership program, you probably know what this is. This is the last thing I want to tell you about, about making things register. A lot of you are super worried, right? You're worried about getting a job. You're worried how you're going to perform in the interview. You might even be worried about putting food on the table or where the rent's going to come from. This is my worry book. And in this book, anytime I have a worry or I'm frustrated about something, I go into this booklet. It's just a field notes booklet. 
and I write down what I'm worried about when I'm worried about it. And the reason I do that is because I want it to register. I want to capture that I had that thought. And most of the time, I think you would agree, show of hands, is most of the time, the things you're so worried about, you don't even experience them. And even if you do, they're never as bad as you thought. One of my favorite quotes of all time is Mark Twain. I've been through some terrible things in my life, some of which actually happened. And I looked, I looked this morning. I didn't have any worries. But the last worry I had, now it's November, what, 8th? I had a worry on October 25th. That was the last time I actually was worried about something. I actually wasn't worried. I was frustrated about something technically that was going on. And the time before that was October 18th about something that was ridiculous. My point is, and, and I, there are not a lot of registrations in here, but the point is if you can, can, can capture what you're so worried about and, and intercept your automated thinking and make it register that that isn't so bad, or in the first place, making sure that it's registering properly, that you are given an opportunity to reach out to somebody. You are given an opportunity to open up a new connection. You are getting an opportunity to interview with a company where you get to learn. What's the worst thing that can happen? You meet somebody new, you learn about a company, and maybe it doesn't work out, right? Pawn being moved off the chessboard kind of thing. So when I go through my day, these booklets are, they're with me. Uh, I mean, I don't, I, once I register this, I register this. I mean, I had my bike this morning. I'm going to have a workout later today too, but I, it's, but I don't like, this is always with me. I just don't write in it a lot. And what I'm doing is I'm conditioning myself to make sure that I'm actually experiencing what I'm going through at any moment in time. There's absolutely not one other thing I can do other than teach you today. And that's it. And that's, that's all I'm going to focus on. And there's a whole lot of noise going on around me, and I'm not paying any attention to any of it. And I want you to, to just think about this and how it can be put into your life. Take what you like, leave the rest, but think about how you go through your search. Are you actually gaining the experience and the benefits of the experience? Are you actually f truly experiencing what's happening and gaining the most out of it. And that's why I wanted to tell you this. Be and I wanted to tell it to you today because if you're with me here in the Job Search Challenge, we are now going into day three, four, and five. And this is the time where you're going to start to feel uncomfortable because what we've done so far in day one and day two is we've given you the mechanics. We've talked about some desk work. We've talked about identifying companies, but now you got to get into hand-to-hand -hand combat and that makes people uncomfortable. So I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this. I don't care what you write on. I don't care. I would recommend you write it out because it's going to emotionally register differently than if you type it out. And it's okay, but I want you to keep your stats. I want you to make sure that you're experiencing what you're going through so that you gain all the benefits. So I hope you enjoyed that. 